What is going on guys, it's your boy Edward V and today we're going to talk about fasting and testosterone. Does fasting negatively affect your testosterone or does it positively affect your testosterone? Women do have a small amount of this and this can help them in building muscle and men carry a larger amount of testosterone and this can create a big effect on their hormones. In this video I'm going to quickly talk about testosterone and fasting and break down any misconceptions that you might have about the topic. I'm going to go ahead and break it down in this video. Stay tuned. All right, quickly going into the topic of testosterone and fasting. See, the thing with a lot of people is that they are worried that they may lower their testosterone, especially with men. Men are very worried that testosterone can be affected if they implement a strategy like intermittent fasting. And the reason why a lot of people do this is that they equate calorie restriction with intermittent fasting being a more intense version of calorie restriction, when in reality, they are not even one and the same. Intermittent fasting can help facilitate some calorie restriction by compressing your eating window to a smaller time frame, giving you the ability to be more cognizant in what you're eating, thus giving you a clearer picture of how much calories you may be taking in. So yes, it can help facilitate calorie restriction, but not eating for short periods of time is not an extreme form of calorie restriction. It's not worse than calorie restriction. I think that a lot of people look at it that way. If you do a 16 hour fast or a 20 hour fast or even a 23 hour fast, and then you eat within that one hour of the day, the amount of calories that you would have eaten throughout the day, if you were to spread them out, that daily 24 hour calorie intake is still whatever calorie amount that was that you ate in that small window. So intermittent fasting and calorie restriction are not one and the same or one being more drastic than the other. So intermittent fasting is not an extreme version of calorie restriction. A lot of people have that in their heads and you just need to completely take that out of your head. It's not the same thing. You can still be at a caloric surplus, per day while utilizing intermittent fasting. So that right there should tell you that it's not the same thing. Calorie restriction on the other hand can reduce testosterone. Being at a chronic caloric restriction diet where you're consistently, constantly in a calorie restriction can lower serum testosterone levels. And when this happens, it affects your body. It affects your body hormonally. It affects your ability to uh, build muscle. It, it affects your sex drive. Those things are affected because of the low testosterone. For that, I would recommend increasing your calorie intake to try to improve your testosterone levels. There have been studies of fasting that show a reduction in testosterone, but these are prolonged fasting, uh, something like 10 days or nine days, something that I would never actually recommend anyone do. Honestly, I don't feel that anyone should go past 48 hours of fasting. And ideally, you want to be within the 24 hour time frame, maybe 20 hour fast or a 16 hour fast or an 18 hour fast. Why? Because you want to be able to do something that you can constantly do all the time. You don't want to do something that will have you have to change it up later on because it's too drastic. You want to do something that you can create a rhythm with your ghrelin and leptin levels over time and just not be hungry for short periods of time and then be able to eat. You want to create that rhythm, that flow. And anything within short fast, and short fast simply means intermittent fasting. So if you're doing intermittent fasting, which means you're fasting for 16 hours or fasting for 18 hours or fasting for 20 hours or 23 hours, you're still doing what's considered medically a very short fast, an acute fast. Long fasts are more than two days or three days. Those are considered prolonged fasts. And that's when you can see some tapering off in the serum testosterone. And counter to that argument, there are studies that show that intermittent fasting actually helps increase testosterone initially during that short term fast. The consumption of food can actually help reduce testosterone as right when you're consuming your food that starts to drop testosterone levels a bit. A study even showed that after a 48 hour fast, serum testosterone increased by 15%. So if you feel any fear about testosterone, then these are the things that you should do. Intermittent fasting actually helps facilitate some serum testosterone level increases, growth hormone increases. This helps facilitate some testosterone increase, but also good sleep quality. That helps facilitate better testosterone secretion. 
working out. This is huge. Building muscle, having muscle on your body, carrying more muscle tissue. Those things actually help facilitate an increase in testosterone secretion. Not being in a constant caloric deficit. This also helps increase testosterone secretion. If you want to increase serum, testosterone, those are the things that you truly need to focus on. Fasting can help to some extent, but building muscle helps to a much greater extent. Ensuring that you're getting your calories in for the day helps to a much greater extent because those are the things that truly help increase serum testosterone levels. So if you're worried that intermittent fasting is going to reduce your testosterone levels, you can rest assured that more than likely it will not. Of course, everyone's body is different. You might be predisposed to having low testosterone to begin with, and certain things might trigger that. You have to look into what your biological health is, talk to your doctor, see what your serum testosterone levels already are at. If they're too low, if they're normal. You got to look at those things because you might have metabolic or biological things that, that are affecting your testosterone levels that have nothing to do with food intake, sleep, or, or working out. And those things can be detrimental to your testosterone level, and it has nothing to do with intermittent fasting. And on the flip side, many studies have shown that intermittent fasting actually assists and improving testosterone levels. So please don't be worried that your intermittent fasting protocol is negatively impacting your serum testosterone levels. This is a quick short video. I just wanted to quickly touch on that topic as a lot of people were asking me about that question. And of course, I want to thank my patrons for my Patreon. And I'm going to go ahead and put their names right up here. And of course, as always, guys, I'll see you on Wednesday for another FAQ. Peace!